So in order to add a website to your MICA, where it will display directly in your MICA, similar to what you see here, I will look like this as an example. Here we have uh, my calendar right inside of Micah. So no one ever has to leave. And they can go ahead and book with me and do whatever they need to do right from within Micah. So if you want to put your website or <clears throat> your calendar or whatever it may be, here's the procedure that you would do. First thing is you want to make sure that it's HTTPS right there that needs to have the S. After that, it will work unless the site that you're trying to put in your MICA does not allow it. And here's how you do it. Go down to profile and then you find your accordion where you want to put it or the sponsor's message, whatever the case is. We're going to go to accordion bar and we're going to add another accordion. Yes, we want more than five. And I'm going to scroll down. You can do this from your mobile, but it works best from a bigger screen. I'm going to put a label on it. And now we have a label on it. Click on the editor. We're going to click this little world box it says iframe. And then we're going to paste our link. You want to have the whole thing, HTTPS, etc., right? Then go to width. And this is the width that you want the website to display. I want it to show 100% of the width. So it goes end to end. And then I want a scroll bar. Um, <clears throat> because I want to be able to scroll through the site like you saw me do. Right within my and the height, this is how much of the site do you want to take up? And it talks the language of pixels. And what that means is PX, lowercase. I typically start out with like a thousand and then PX, lowercase. And that's it. Alignment, you can leave because you have 100%. So it's going to go all the way edge to edge. Then you click OK. And down here to save. Now, when we look at this, you will see my calendar is right here. Built in to the app. See? So let's see it on the full screen. Go to style settings and you have to make Micah visible online. And it is. And then we're going to do. Uh, live preview. And let's take a look. So for someone that has a website already, you might want to put this uh, on your learn how to do list because this could be your website right in there. You see that? It's in the app. So yeah, if you have a website, you can send someone to your MICA and of course, they can always click out to your website, but you could show it right there inside. And see how I put a thousand PX? Uh, yeah, that's probably a bit long. You see all that space. So now I can go back and trim it up and put like, I don't know, maybe half of that or 700 PX. And that way it wouldn't open up to such a big space. Okay, and I went back and changed it to uh, 500 PX so that you can take a look at how that looks and look how much shorter that is. See, it's it's cleaner. So that's why you would do the, the PX. Uh, but if your website was, you know, long, and then you would want a longer PX, which stands for pixels. So that's how you add your website inside Micah. Keep everybody right there. If you have any questions, reach out to support at mycontactapp.net. Thank you.